we present Icon, implicit clothed humans obtained from normals. Icon robustly reconstructs 3D clothed humans in unconstrained poses from in the wild images. This enables the creation of an animatable avatar directly from a monocular video, with pose dependent cloth deformation and full texture. To easily create digital avatars on a large scale, with diverse human shapes, clothes, haircuts, ages, and motions, new tools are needed. The current methods for creating such an avatar need many post-3D scans of a person as input. Capturing such high-quality 3D scans requires expensive facilities. The state-of-the-art clothed human reconstruction methods are promising and affordable alternatives for creating post-3D humans. They aim to recover scan quality 3D reconstructions from just a single image. However, current state of the art reconstruction algorithms, PIFU, PIFU HD, PAMIA, and Arch, all fail on in the wild images with challenging poses. They are not robust to pose variations, resulting in broken or disembodied limbs, missing details, or non human shapes. Let's first look at why previous methods are sensitive to pose variation. Given a colored input image, PIFU and PIFU HD apply a deep 2D encoder and feed the extracted pixel-aligned features to a reconstruction MLP. PAMIA and GeoPIFU introduce an additional 3D body prior. It is represented as body voxels, encoded by a 3D deep encoder. Then the voxel-aligned features are fed into the reconstruction MLP. All these encoders are applied to the full image or entire voxel space. Due to their large receptive fields, the extracted features are sensitive to global pose. During inference, the network sees poses that differ from the training poses. Such global pose differences may lead to a dramatic change of pixel-aligned or voxel-aligned features leading to poor reconstruction. Icon takes, as input, an RGB image of a segmented clothed human and a simple body estimated from the image. The simple body is used to guide two modules of Icon. The first one, together with the input image, infers detailed clothed human normal maps. The other one provides point-based features, that is, for every point in the 3D space, we query its pixel-aligned clothed human normals and compute the body normal and signed distance from this point to its closest point on the simple body surface. Then all these local features are used to regress the implicit surface. In contrast to previous work, all the features used for surface regression are locally defined or queried. No global pose information is encoded. Icon works well on the challenging poses where state-of-the-art methods fail. This figure shows how robust the simple guided clothed normal prediction is. Even the backside is normal in challenging poses. We further propose a new refinement paradigm to alleviate the reconstruction misalignment introduced by the simple estimator. During inference, we refine the clothed normals and simple body iteratively in a feedback loop. In this step, by minimizing the difference between the body normals and clothed normals, the body pose is refined. Conditioned on the refined simple body, clothed normals can be correctly predicted from the normal network. We collect hundreds of images with challenging poses from P-Interest. Here are comparisons with other state-of-the-art methods, including PIFU, PIFU HD, PAMIA, ARCH, and ARCH++. These methods are not robust to challenging poses, resulting in various artifacts. In contrast, ICON generalizes well to these out-of-distribution scenarios and produces high-quality reconstruction results. Please note how robustly ICON performs without training on such poses. Now we show the creation of an animatable avatar directly from a monocular video. We take a sequence of images containing the same subject in various poses as input. First, we use Icon to reconstruct 3D human shapes for each frame. Then we use a state-of-the-art avatar creation method, Scanimate, to create a realistic animatable avatar from these reconstructions. The created avatar can be animated with realistic pose-dependent clothing deformation. We thank the people who helped us in this project and the funding support. For more details, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.